Hello guys, welcome back to Simple Brains. If you are switching your operating systems frequently and you are coming to Windows and Unix quite often, then this video is for you. Here we will see what are the types, different types of file that Unix create and Windows create. We'll be comparing the unix file patterns and the dos file patterns and what is the issue that it creates when we transfer a file from windows to unix or from unix to windows what issue exactly is there and why we need few commands we'll learn few commands we'll see how to actually see and resolve those issues so let's get started guys this is a simple notepad plus plus in my windows system and here i'll be showing you how to uh, just create a simple file which you all know so I'll be writing hi how are you and welcome to simple brains okay and now I'll show you actually what is created so when I just click this button here show all characters it show me hi and when I entered when I clicked enter on my keyboard it printed CRLF. CRLF, what is it? It is uh, carriage return and line feed. So when we had earlier typewriters, what we used to do is, if you remember, then first we used to first slide the slider back to the uh, front position. Suppose I'm writing hi. So after writing hi, I'll take the cursor back and then I'll hit um, next line. So we used to put it on the on the typewriter so it's same thing crlf carriage return and then line feed but but the windows uh, follow the same format of crlf but is it required now we we just need new line right so why not to have lf so okay these two operating systems have their own features this is what it is like we cannot change this so yeah we have to deal with this and we will see how unix creates it so suppose uh, let's go to unix and write vi and unix underscore test dot txt so i'm creating this file and i'll be just writing here hi welcome to simple brains we are writing we are writing a unix file okay and then i'll just quickly save this and i'll show you guys how it is so when i'll do cat it won't show me anything just the exact system when i do minus cat minus v it will again show me same thing no extra uh, character is required this is what the unix creates it i'll show give you one special command which will exactly give you the stream how it will look like in the stream and that is uh, od minus c and just put this particular thing and you'll see that what it is exactly high slash and slash and why two slash and because one slash and after high and one slash and for this blank line and then welcome space to simple space brains and then again slash and slash and so that slash and so you can see here right that only slash and is being used for a new line but here the crlf is actually slash r slash n so this is what it is now i'll i'll show you by transferring this particular file i'll just quickly save this in my documents so i'll give it a name uh, dos because windows is actually dos dos scripting so dos underscore test dot txt and let's save it in the documents now let's open the documents windows e and then let's go to yes documents so let's sort by date and here it is dos underscore test so let's i've just connected my uh, unix uh, shell that is on aws to the uh, through filezilla so i'll be using filezilla to copy the uh, whatever we wrote there so dos dos dot test dos 
underscore test so let's see if it came here here we should have now dos underscore test and unix underscore test yeah both of these are here now let's let's analyze this particular thing how it looks okay so cat i'll do cat there's no change right how are you welcome to simple phrase as simple as that but when we do cat minus v then that's minus verbose then it will show you there is a control character control m is to the end that is slash r actually which is carriage return unix do not understand this particular concept of carriage return it's very simple if it is new line slash n that's it but there new line means slash r slash n so slash r here is control m which is again very confusing but yes this creates a lot of problems when while you are doing bash scripting or something so to short this out what or even if you you'll do vi you know you'll not see this control m so uh, it's it's actually if you want to see you have either to do cat minus v or the special command that i gave what was the special command od minus c and then just type in so here you will exactly see yeah it is slash r slash n then for new line again slash r slash n how are you and then again slash r slash n and then for new line again slash r slash n each time the slash r comes unix doesn't understand so unix show it as control m and then slash n means new line that's why earlier it was only slash n so this is what the exact difference is now i'll show you how to convert dos to unix and unix to dos okay so now what i'll do is quickly the dos file i'll convert to unix file okay and unix file to dos file how to do that let's let's see okay this dos have slash r slash n right so now if i convert it to unix what it should be it should be slash n right and slash r should be removed so there's a command unix sorry dos to unix okay and i'll just write this file name so again it will tell me not installed okay i need to install this command on my system on my aws all right let's go ahead and install that okay so that's done and i'll do dos to unix and it says converting but actually it's done it's very quick now let's see od minus c and now what it should be earlier it was slash r slash n because it came from windows system right so now it should be slash n slash n right because we converted it to unix now let's convert it back how to do that okay it's very simple unix to dos so again we are converting the unix system to the windows system the requirement comes like uh, there there is something that you wrote on linux but now you need to run it on windows system so while taking it back to the windows system this is what you should do first do unix to dos and then convert it there so that it will be formatted in the required um, type whatever windows want okay and it's as simple as that you did unix to dos and then when you do the same thing od minus c and this usually yes it's slash n is replaced by slash r slash n so yes this is a very simple and easy way to change the uh, file types and yes this is how it is you can see you can diagnose you can quickly see cat minus v or od minus c these are very handy tools uh, to check what is the exact thing apart from that even this filezilla or winscp that you use there also you can have the setting that yes it can automatically change your file system whenever you put so that explicitly you need not to do that but in condition in when you actually work in production conditions or in some other conditions sometimes when you have to quickly check and analyze that yes this is the case or not you have to fix it then yes this is how you can do and you can reverse engineer and fix the issue so this is what this is it for today thank you thank you very much and do like subscribe and share if you like this video till then goodbye